if you get a chance. Where I answer your questions about how to make it as a creator. As Step number one in getting a thousand subscribers on YouTube. I tested YouTube's new promotions feature to find the ch I paid for 1,000 fake YouTube subscribers to see. There are thousands of videos out there that claim that they can teach you how to get more subscribers on YouTube. I just bought 5 million real YouTube views to test whether you can just stop by and checking out Think Media TV. Most people get discouraged on YouTube because the money part. So what are the most important metrics on YouTube? So it's like 1 a.m. and you're scrolling through videos and you're trying to figure out why you're not getting any subscribers, why you're not getting any views. So you're clicking on things like Think Media, this is how you get subscribers if you do everything I do and so forth. And then you're clicking on the channels that say you can buy subscribers and get, you know, 5,000 views and, and, and however many subscribers, but none of those are genuine. None of those subscribers are genuine. None of those views are genuine and you won't get any retention. Everything I've seen says that you'll get a big old spike and then you won't have anything after that. The way those type of channels worked is a while back, they were very useful in telling you the kind of camera and the kind of stuff you can do to improve your content. Well, they gained a lot of following and now they basically are 100% infomercials. They already have the viewers, so all they have to do is get on there and say, this is why I have the viewers. If you do what I do, you can have these viewers too. It's, it's complete commercial, it's ridiculous. You really can't fall into that trap. Don't even pay attention to that at all. They were able to get in at the right time and get those viewers and now they're just selling away, selling away. The whole thing you're clicking on is an infomercial and none of that's gonna work. Having the right camera equipment, you know, such as a good microphone, a, a good camera, a good monitor and some lights, that's all you need. And the rest of it, you know, it, it's just gotta be genuine. And then you have the ones where if you click on it, you'll you'll get a thousand views, 5,000 views, or they promise you you get like uh, 500 subscribers and stuff like that. If all that stuff worked, then 50% of YouTube would have a whole mess of subscribers and a whole mess of views. The thing is, is that those are all gimmicks. Those are all tricks. Those are all about getting your money. All they want is your money. Don't follow any of that stuff. Don't buy any of that stuff, it's all crap. There was a guy a couple of videos ago that told me I should be a soultographer. And I really like that word, this soultographer, I like that. Um, and I, I, I truly believe that's what you need to be. You have to reach into your soul and try and convey to people who you are, what you're about and this and that. And don't try to sell people stuff, don't try to, yeah, we want clicks, yeah, we want views because we want our art to be out there. We want our art to be seen. So you put your stuff out there so people will have a common interest and, and you can comment on that and you can talk about it and, and it's the better things in life. I mean, photography and videography are supposed to be the better things in life, not a way to sell stuff. I mean, I'll admit when I do a wedding, I can't stand doing weddings. And the only reason I do weddings is to make money. So I, I kind of don't want to shoot weddings anymore. I want to I want to get back to doing what I want to do, which kind of means losing money, but I don't enjoy photography that's forced. I don't enjoy videography that's forced. And I'm sure some of you are like that and have the same opinion, but back on topic. Um, yeah, all these things that say that they're going to help you gain followers and, and gain subscribers. None of it's legit. None of it's legit. All you got to do is make the content you want to make. We all fall into the pattern of doing things the way the people we look up to. We try to emulate them, we try to be like them. I mean, I've learned so much from, you know, influencers and stuff. I mean, the setup you're looking at right now has to do with, you know, what I've learned. There's a place where you have to say, you know, this is what I am, this is what I bring to the table, and I'm gonna learn my equipment as best as I can to, portray what I want out there. So yeah, okay, none of that crap works. I've even gotten to the point now where even influencers who run a commercial, I'll give you five seconds, I may give you 10 seconds, but if I can see it's gonna be one of them big long commercials, yeah, I click right off that sucker and turn it off, I'm done. Yeah, I don't wanna watch 30 second, one minute commercials. I pay for YouTube premium to get rid of those commercials and then I get sacked with uh, videographers and photographers running their commercials or any entertainment running their commercials. So, you know, 
short commercials, short commercials. This video is sponsored by blah, 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 blah. I'm good with that, bro. I mean, that's fine. We can we can deal with that. But, you know, the, the long, uh, I'm just here to sell you stuff and make money. Make enough money where you can do well, you know, but do you need to be a millionaire? I mean, what's the, what's the deal? I mean, so yeah, people, um, let's not click on that stuff anymore. Let's just not click on that stuff anymore. Um, if you have a a different opinion about all this stuff, leave me a comment and we can discuss it. I, I've really enjoyed the discussions I've been having lately on my videos lately. They've been absolutely amazing. I'm learning from you guys. I'm sure there's a lot of people that identify with a lot I said, but I'm also sure that a lot of people don't identify with a lot I said. So it's been a great learning experience. And uh, I think we just need to grow our subscribers organically. I've seen a lot of channels with maybe 30 subscribers, 130 subscribers that have really really good content and i really think it's just a matter of time before those channels blow up i mean and some of you i've seen you know have like 2000 subscribers and just amazing channels the, these lower count subscriber channels have been absolutely amazing i really have enjoyed looking at your videos and stuff and so i i really appreciate all the comments i hope uh, y'all will make some more comments on this video and we can have more discussions so yeah back to the subject don't buy into the think medias the uh you if you do this or if you pay for this you'll get this many subscribers that's all not legit it's all fake don't do it save your money spend it on something worthwhile take a trip buy a new camera whatever it is don't buy that stuff all right so don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll talk to you later